The first memory I have of water is from when I was five years old, and it was this experience when I almost drowned in the ocean. I was born and raised near Tokyo Bay with my family. It was a 10 minute walk to the ocean, and we would run down to the ocean in our underwear to go for a swim. I was very comfortable swimming and interacting with the ocean water. But one day I swam far out into a very deep spot in the ocean where I was unable to touch the bottom. I became frightened and began to struggle to swim ashore. The more I struggled, the quicker I began to drown. I thought I was going to die and I almost gave up on swimming to shore. It was then a passing boat came to my rescue. I was thankful to be alive, but very scared and I ran home crying. When I came home, I was crying to my mother. I told her I almost drowned and I was still very frightened from my near-death experience. My mother then told me, Masaru, when you're surrounded by water, you should never try to fight against the water, but rather relax and let water take you wherever it will take you. You are always safe with water. This has a lot of philosophical meaning for me, and now later in my life, I understand what my mother was telling me. Dr. Masaru Emoto, born July 22, 1943, is a Japanese author and water researcher, best known for his water crystal photography. Demonstrating how the human consciousness has a direct effect on the molecular structure of water, Dr. Emoto's hypothesis is that water is the messenger, transmitting information from one molecule to the next. His water crystal research consists of exposing water to different vibrations and then freezing and examining the aesthetics of the resulting water crystals with microscopic photography. The results revealed that positive and negative changes to water can be achieved through the frequencies created by our thoughts, words, emotions, prayer, and music. Dr. Emoto's study of water started with the encounter of a HOTO device called an MRA, Magnetic Resonance Analyzer, more than 25 years ago. As a doctor of alternative medicine, he assisted in healing more than 10,000 patients with water using this MRA device. After being ridiculed, scrutinized, and then ignored by the medical and scientific communities, Dr. Emoto began to explore ways to show he was able to help his patients using hot water. It was the inspiration of a snowflake that gave Masaru Emoto the idea to capture water's true essence as a water crystal. Author of over 50 hot books, in 1999 he published his book Messages from Water, which has been released in Japan, Europe, and the USA, where it topped the New York Times bestseller list for six weeks. Since his first book release, Dr. Masaru Emoto has successfully published over 3 million copies in 46 countries and has given almost 1,000 lectures in 75 countries. Listed as number 18 in the world's most spiritually influential people living, Dr. Emoto has also been featured in several documentary films, such as What the Bleep Do We Know, Water, The Invocation, and many more. In 2005, Dr. Emoto was invited as a keynote speaker to the headquarters of the United Nations in New York City. Currently, Masaru Emoto is focusing his energy on the Emoto Peace Project, the mission is to teach all people, especially children, the true power of our thoughts, words, and emotions through water in advancing world peace. The Emoto Peace Project distributes the children's version, Message from Water, free of charge to all children on Earth. The Message from Water children's version is available within your app under the Emoto Peace Project menu. Feel free to download it and share it with your community. Mm -hmm.